I am down at the lake today doing a little bit of fishing and practicing for an upcoming tournament. This year I decided that I would fish the Major League Fishing BFL tournament series and I actually ended up in ninth place on the first tournament and this is a practice video in preparation for the second tournament. Now the conditions on tournament day are probably going to be a lot different than they are today but what I am doing is I'm going out fishing some new water. We're gonna see if we can find some spots that are gonna help me catch some more fish during my tournament. And we're gonna flip into some bushes along the way and see if we can catch some bass. And it should be a really cool video. Before we go ahead and get into the fishing, I did wanna say thank you to all of you for clicking on this video and for watching the channel. Right now we are actually at 59,000 subscribers. I am trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video if you guys do enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get right in into it. Now I have heard that people have been catching them really good out here. I'm super excited. I've got a ton of different things tied on the deck. We're going to be doing a little bit of just spring junk fishing. We're going to see if we can get them on a frog, see if we can get them on a jig, see if we can get them on a walking bait. I mean, who knows what they'll bite today. We're going to go around. We're going to fish shallow. We're going to fish these bushes, fish this rock, and we're going to see what we can get done. Y'all stay tuned. This is going to be awesome. Man, I'm excited. The water's up. These fish are shallow. Water temperature is 67. So they are all up in here. I've already seen a three pounder, already had a bite on a shaky head. And we're gonna see if we can catch us a few bats. I'm gonna throw around a bunch of different things, just see what I can catch them on. First cast on camera, it's gonna be with the mini popping perch. These fish out here will eat a top water, especially in these little shade lines in these bushes. Now, are we gonna get as many bites? Probably not. We're gonna catch more flipping today more than anything, but we're gonna try some different stuff, see what they want, see what we can catch them on. What I'm kind of doing here is I'm running down the bank. If I see some bushes or some trees that are way out in the water, I'll flip them. But then once I hit stuff like this rock right here, I'm gonna pick up a crankbait, throw it a little bit. This is a KVD 2.5. Throw it a little bit, see if I can get one off the rocks. And then if I pull up to a point or something like this, maybe I'll throw a shaky head off of it or something like that. Before I started filming, I actually had a bite over there off that rock point, literally right next to the boat ramp. I haven't even turned on my big motor yet. So we're just gonna kind of see what the fish want, what they're doing. And the more we move around, we'll find some better spots that are more productive, but I've already had a bite, already seen a three pounder. Fish are moved up and it should be good. I'm excited to see what happens today. There goes one jumping out there on some bait. got one just like that <laughs> there we go first fish of the day on the kvd 2.5 not a bad fish this is about the average size you're going to catch out here you're going to catch a bunch like this finding those real big ones is a little bit more difficult but first fish of the day nonetheless right there off the rock point with a square bill textbook bite Right there. First fish of the day, son. Let's go. He bit it right off that point right there. Smoked the square bill. Just picked up the shaky head, throwing it on my Mach 2 combo. This is actually what I got bit on earlier. This is a green pumpkin blue worm. Looks like my hook's bent a little bit. Let's bend that back. I'm gonna toss this around on these rocks too. See if there's another one up here. We're gonna keep on covering some water. I've got one. Oh, little baby. Could have been a bluegill or something too. It's kind of nibbling.
I was gonna go ahead and move spots, but I saw this shaded area down here with a little bit of this pollen on top of the water or whatever it is. So I decided I'd come down here and throw a frog for a little bit. This looks like a frog spot to me. So we're gonna finish out this little area with a frog and then we're gonna move. I just saw a fish right there. I just saw like a two pounder sitting right there on the bank. Oh, he's under my frog. Dude, no way. We're gonna make a little run somewhere. I'm not sure where, but we're just gonna get a little bit of a change of scenery. Okay, new spot. Just pulled up to it because it looked kind of good. Got some docks back here and got some trees, a little bit of a clay bank. Everything kind of looks the same on this lake. Um, and I'm fishing a totally new section that I've never really fished before. So I'm just kind of going around today, sampling new water. I told myself I wasn't going to fish any of my old stuff today. Only fishing new water. So I got a tournament here in three or four weeks and I was like, hey, I want to figure out a different deal than what I already know. So that's what we're doing today. Going around looking for some spots, seeing where we can catch some fish along the way. Looks like a halfway decent little frog spot too. Frog time. <laughs> we got one on a frog. He's a baby, but we got one on a frog. Little popping perch. That was cool. I didn't think he got it. This is the mini one, though, so it's a little bit easier for them to get it. If they're small. There we go. First little fish on frog. That was pretty cool. I was driving around on the boat. Saw a couple boat ramps back here with some rocks and stuff. All I want to do today is just flip bushes because it's a water side, but like I said, kind of practicing for my tournament coming up. So figured I'd go over here, check out these boat ramps, see what they look like. And there could still definitely be fish holding on them. I mean, any of the fish that are pre-spawn or post-spawn setting up to move in and move out, they could hold on them. I mean, shoot, they could even spawn off the sides of them, the ones that are back in the pockets, so. And another new spot. I was gonna go over here and fish some of these rocks, but then I saw this brush down here. Decided I'd come flip it first, see if there's anything down here in this brush. We got some, looks like pretty good bushes. I don't know how deep they are, but got some pretty decent looking bushes and then Keep working our way around. Dude, I thought I'd seen a bass come out and eat that sucker. Got him. My drag slipped a little bit. Dang. First one out of the bushes. Golly. That's our first one, like, actually out of the bushes. And I just found this in the bottom of the boat. Don't know if that's from him or that other one, but. So I might have been eating some shad. My drag or something slipped on that one. Got to check on that. That was weird.
All I'm doing is just taking a rage crawl. I've got it with a quarter ounce weight pegged. It's just a green pumpkin rage crawl. I'm just flipping. I've got it pegged because in the bushes and stuff, it's a little bit easier to fish it when it's pegged. You can also skip it if it's pegged. So that's really why I've got this pegged like I do. And you would think bushes like this that come out on like a rocky point, this is where they should be at. It's like bushes like this. Dude, what in the world? Why are they not eating it? I felt that bite, watched him take it to the side, and he still didn't have it. What in the world? I guess I'm about to wait him out. Let him eat it real good, I guess. I mean, dang. Got him. Got him that time. I knew I'd been getting bites right here. It was just finally getting one to eat it all the way. Sheesh. You and all your friends need to learn how to bite better. Catch an all keeper fish, but definitely not tournament winning fish. But we will cross paths with one at some point. It will happen. Well, I'm a terrible YouTuber. Don't think I was filming, but just caught one right here. Uh, I was flipping a jig. I had one bite, but the fish missed it. So I decided I'd pick up the rage crawl again. A little bit of a smaller profile. And I've already caught a fish on it flipping. So I was like, hey, I'll pick it up. Went over here, flipped into this bush. Got a really good flip in and bam, got one. So. We've got some really good bushes up here on this point. The wind's starting to blow, so I don't really know how good we're gonna be able to fish them, but that was another one. That's a pretty decent fish. There's another one. Just about the same spot. This one is way smaller than that other one. Way smaller. But we'll take it. If he wants to bite, I'll set the hook on him. go on one of my least favorite baits ever Carolina rig <laughs> but I'm trying to get better with it 
Looked like a perfect spot for it. Just moved to this spot right here. Caught a slow bass. We've got a ton of rock right here. We've got bushes, which I've been flipping, but I figured there had to be some holding off a little bit further in the rocks. So I got out my Carolina rig rod, started dragging, had that one pick it up. I just had a rage bug on there. Here in a couple weeks, a spot like this will produce. All right, I moved spots to get out of the wind a little bit. Ran all the way back up here in this creek. A little bit more protected from the wind. And this bank right here looks really good, so I stopped right here. It's got a bunch of laydowns and stuff. Not a ton of bushes, there is some, but not a ton. This right here, it's like a good frog spot, so I'm gonna throw the frog right here. Work my way down. Just keep finding some new stuff. I know I can catch them off the rock and the bushes in the rock. I see a bass right there. I literally just saw him. It was like a two or a three pounder. Just cruising right there. I've yet to catch one on this today, but I haven't thrown it very much either. Oh my gosh. Dude, he just went straight for it. That is not the one that came out for it, I don't think. Maybe it is. Oh yeah, it is. Dude, that's nuts. <laughs> I seen that fish over there swimming, and next thing you know, I threw my bait, and as soon as I threw my bait, he came right after it. That's crazy, dude. <clears throat> nice. There we go, hook just fell out. That fish right there might have been spawning. He just came and creamed that Ocho, though. That's a pretty good fish. It's probably a two, maybe a two and a quarter. That was cool though. I just sight fished that one. I literally, I was like, I was like, dude, there's a fish right there. It's like, what in the world? Seen him, threw to him. Within seconds, he ate it. I mean, seconds, he ate that pink ocho. So you wouldn't think this thing would work, but it does. Every time somebody sees me throwing it, they think I'm a psycho, but I'm not a psycho that catches them. Caught that one with the mock smash too. Now I'm about to smash this dang tree. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep that one on deck. See this little shady spot right here? It's all shady. Got some brush in here. Looks like the perfect frog spot. Perfect frog spot. One just hit it and missed it right there. That's when you try this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you throw your wacky rig in there. Missed him. I knew there was another fish on this bank. I think that was a small one. I didn't let him have it for long enough. Started running with it, felt the bite a little bit. Well, we're still running a couple spots. I was on the phone with my grandma. I caught one. Then I missed another one. I actually live scoped one with the wacky rig off that point right there. Felt it bite. Was gonna set the hook, but I had the phone in my hand, so couldn't really do very much. But that spot I just checked wasn't really that great. I've got it marked for whenever it rains. I've got another waypoint over in this pocket. And then I've got a couple other little spots I'm gonna check. It's starting to get a little late. It's five o'clock right now. So not really sure how long I'm gonna stay. I live quite a ways from here, so I don't wanna get back too late tonight, but we'll see. Big old gar right there. Yeah, I can catch him. Oh, he just ate it. <laughs> oh, those fish are so stupid. All right, starting to work my way back to the ramp. Still making a couple little pit stops, but we're starting to slowly make our way back. It's about six o'clock, so. Notice this little pocket right here off the main lake. Got some rock in it. Got some bushes. Mostly just rock. 
kind of a different kind of rock than I've been fishing today. I've been kind of fishing like rock veins. This is just like weird rock on the bank for it is. I just put on this all white thunder cricket. I'm just gonna fish this pocket out with it. I'm not even gonna pick up a slow bait at all. Just that felt like a bite. Fish this moving bait and see what we can figure out. See if they want to hit this too. This is a great search bait this time of year. Probably should have been throwing it a lot more today, but throw it on the old kicking their bass combo I haven't caught one on this yet today so it's about time we catch one on it today barely thrown it but it's about time if you guys want to go get one or a thunder cricket look down below in the description I've got some codes down there save you a little bit of money and it helps me out too so okay last spot of the day I actually caught one here earlier, if you remember. I caught one on a square bill right here on this little point. Now, when I caught that fish, I didn't really get to fish the rocks that good because I was on top of them before I could really do anything. That was a halfway decent fish. I also saw like a three pounder over here and I scared him off because my boat was too close to the bank. So we're gonna fish this right here, slower. We're gonna flip these bushes, probably throw the jig, maybe throw the wacky rig, go around this little corner where I saw that other fish fish right there too and we're gonna see what we can get going are we gonna catch one i don't know are we gonna try heck yeah see if we can pull off a last minute three or four pounder do something big All right, over here is where I, oh, I got one right now. Oh, interesting. I was gonna say over here is where I saw that one earlier. I just cast it over here on this bush, let this wacky rig sink and I caught one. Little baby. Maybe this is our last fish of the day. I don't know. We're gonna see if we can catch this one over here. I saw this one over here earlier. There's a bunch of rocks can't see him until you get up close that was my problem I got up too close I spooked him Nice. Just totally broke off on one. Right at my leader. That was a good bite too. Gotcha. Right next to the boat ramp. Golly. That's a good one. That ain't bad fish at all. I felt him just barely tick it. Heck yeah. That's a good one to finish off the day. I got a feeling we might catch one or two more though. Golly, dude, that one smoked it two times good. Just didn't eat it. It's like it was a bedfish or something.
He picked it up, dropped it, picked it up again, took a pincher.